Hi there, you're welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm introducing you to the concept of continuity. Continuity. So you might have heard continuity, something continuous right here. So I have a problem here. I'll use that to explain it to you. But before then, let me explain continuity. You know, continuity as the word says, continuous, something which is continuous. What does that mean? There is no break, right? The thing doesn't break, it's continuous, right? Mathematically and in calculus, when you say a function is continuous, it means that the limit of our function f of x, right? Our function, whether f of x or g of x or any function, as x approaches a certain point x naught, will be equal to what the functional value at what x naught. Then you say that this function is what continuous. Okay, this is a condition. So mathematically, in calculus, every function is said to be continuous at a certain point. If the limit at that point is equal to what the functional value at that point that is all so our function when you say something is continuous it means that if i draw a graph of my function and i draw my function i don't remove the pen i keep on drawing that is it it means it's continuous but a function which is not continuous you draw and after you take it then maybe you continue this part as what um a different piece something like this so i mean there is a breakage you can also have a discontinuous function like something moving then you just stop and create a hole then you move and continue something like that the whole deep means that at this point maybe the function is not defined we get it so a continuous function is a function which we don't remove our pen when you are drawing something like that physically okay or mathematically the limit at that point should be equal to what the functional value at that point should be called a continuous function okay so we have some few properties of continuous function so if i have two functions f of x and g of x and i say these two are continuous right at a point a and what k or something like that okay then f of x plus or minus g of x will also be a continuous function take note so if i add two continuous function or if i subtract two continuous function the result will give me a continuous function okay when i multiply f of x by g of x i'll still get a continuous function then when i multiply a constant by f i'll still get a continuous function when i take the quotient I'll still get a continuous function. So on that note, let's get straight to solving what our continuity problem here. Okay. So you have to know that if a function is not continuous, then it means that it is a discontinuity. Okay, it is a discontinuity. I will especially handle discontinuity right after what this tutorial. Okay. So don't forget to subscribe so that you get updated when I post new videos. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Solution. It says show that the function h of x, which is giving us a piecewise function x squared minus x minus 2 all over x minus 2, where x is not equal to 2, and where s, I mean, h of x is 1, when x is 2, at the point x equals 2, right? So when write it here, h of x is equal to, I have x squared minus x minus 2 all over x minus 2, then 1, right? Where x is not equal to 2, then where x is equal to 2, right? So at this point, how do I test it? So you just quote your continuity formula, right? So the continuity formula, as I'm saying, is the limit as h of x as s approaches what? He said at the point 2 at s equals 2. So you just say at s approaches 2 should be equal to what? The functional value h of what? 2. This is the what? Equation or the condition that should be satisfied for us to say that h of x is continuous. What's the limit as h of x approaches 2? To get that, you go to your function right but before then we can see that our function at the point is equal to the functional value is also one so you can write our one but our limit you realize that when i put two in the function obviously the is not meant to be two minus two so you get zero so to be undefined right so meaning our limit is not equal to the functional value obviously but if you want to find the limit you can solve this and what simplify so you get s squared if you have x squared minus x minus 2, if you want to simplify, how do you simplify? What well, the factors of negative 2 that when you add, you get negative 1? You will either get what? Negative 2 and positive 1 because negative 2 plus 1 will give me negative 1. Therefore, you simply write x minus 2, x plus 1. That's all. All over what? x minus 2. Then I cancel this out. So I'm simply getting x plus 2 limits as s approaches what? 2, right? Is equal to 1. So limit as s approaches 2 of x plus 2 is simply what? 2 plus 2. 
is equal to one and i get four is not equal to one so the limit is four and the function value is one therefore the function is what is discontinuous it's continuous at s is equal to two okay yeah so that's it that is it so this is the end of this video please don't forget to subscribe like and share